Hey everybody, it's Dan. Um, this week, um, to you guys, we're talking about passing. And from my experience, the best thing to do to try to pass is to take this book or online resource or whatever about how to pass and completely forget about it. It doesn't matter. For everything that you're going to try to do to be masculine, there's men out there who don't do that. For everything that you're trying to not do that's feminine, there are guys who do that. So it really, really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I spent so much time at the beginning of my transition trying to figure out what was it about me that made me be read as female or be read at male, and you just have to realize that you can't control what other people see. Everybody looks at things through their own perspectives. I can pick out a trans person like no one's business, because I am trans, and so that will affect people's ability to pass in front of me because I will read them as trans a lot of times, um, whereas Joe Schmo on the street has no idea and would read them as male or female or whatever they're presenting as. Um, and same thing, like, certain guys will see guys a certain way, girls a certain way. It, you can't control what everybody sees in you, because everybody looks at different things and has different stereotypes and different assumptions about what it means to be male or female. And you just have to do how you feel comfortable and just forget about everybody else. I've wasted so much energy trying to control how other people saw me. And everything from binding to packing to fake facial hair to trying to grow out my real facial hair to taking tea, having my voice low, um, all of that stuff. And there's still a couple of people who see me once in a while. Most people see me as a guy, and that's fine, but I mean, even before all of that, when I was a kid, I had short hair, and for most people, that automatically meant I got a he, um, <laughs> and it really, really doesn't matter what you do, um, it's all about presenting as you feel comfortable, and if somebody messes up your pronoun and you feel comfortable enough to correct them, then correct them, but if not, then don't, um, when people she me, I usually just let it go, because arguing with it about, like, I don't know, with somebody at the checkout or whatever, like, they're not going to see you again, so why make it an issue? Um, if it is somebody that you're going to have a continued relationship with or something like that, then just be like, I prefer male pronouns, or you can say I'm a guy or whatever, but also, I guess I'm not too concerned about being seen as a guy all the time, or be, being seen as a masculine guy all the time. Um... So, I don't know, that just might be me. Um, the things I'm comfortable with are not necessarily those things that everybody on the channel would be comfortable with. Um, it's like, right now, it's freezing in Florida, and I haven't been binding for, like, four weeks. Seriously. It's been so cold, I just put on a shirt and my sweatshirt, and, you know, if you look close enough, I'm sure you can totally see my boobs, but I don't give a shit, because I hate binding. Um... It's so annoying and constrictive. The only times I've been binding lately are when I do sports. Um, and even then, it's uh, it's annoying. Like, you know. Um, but, yeah. Just don't worry about it. It's like every single person on the channel has said, it's all about your confidence and how you hold yourself. Um... If you feel that you should be in a place that's male only or that's whatever, like, if you look like you're supposed to be there, then nobody's going to question the fact that you're going to belong there. Um, that might not necessarily, like, work in all situations, but in my experience, that's been what I found. Um, I was very, very extremely hesitant to use male restrooms for a long, long time, and I still don't really like it, but... The times that I have used male restrooms, it hasn't been a big deal. You just go in, you do what you do, you come out, and nobody's going to say anything to you. Um, and that's just how it is. Like, if you're really, really worried about people seeing that you don't have a penis or something like that, or, you know, not have a visible, you know, six-inch schlong or whatever, um, you can pack. But honestly, nobody really looks at your junk. Um, even just walking down the street or in the restroom, I 
don't know anybody who's been like, oh my god, look at his package, whatever, unless you're, you know, in a gay bar or something, and you're looking specifically for that, you know, but I mean, just on the street, nobody cares. Um, same thing with binding, like, I know trans guys who don't bind and are just, like, waiting for their surgery or whatever, and they just don't bind, and, um, nobody picks up on the fact that they have a chest, um, like, these are guys who have been on testosterone and stuff like that, and people just see the face and the facial hair and the voice, and there's completely man boobs, but nobody gives a shit, so, um, it really depends. I, I put off putting my earrings in for, like, a while. I've had these holes since I was, I don't know, in middle school, high school. And I didn't wear earrings for a long, long time because I thought that they would hurt my ability in passing. And the moment I was just like, I don't give a fuck, I put them in. I haven't had any sort of reactions whatsoever. They're just like, oh, guy with earrings, whatever. Um, same thing with my haircut. Like, I had really, really short, spiky hair. And I think I got taken as a lesbian more often than when I have my, my longer hair. Um, it's... Once you, like, embrace both the masculine and the feminine aspects of yourself and just own it, and you're just like, this is me, and I don't care what it means for you to be a man or to not be a man or to be a woman or to not be a woman, I'm me, and this is the way that I'm presenting myself, and these are the pronouns that you should use for me, and that's it. So, while... The passing tips and stuff like that were really interesting at the beginning. It really doesn't doesn't make a difference, because if you're not being true to yourself and true to what you want to do and how you want to live your life, then you're just being fake. And for me, it's more important just to be myself than to care about somebody using a pro wrong pronoun here and there. Um, but that's just my opinion. So. Uh, yeah, best advice, just just be yourself. And I know that sounds totally, totally cliche and whatever, but it's the truth. And, yeah. So, um, so good luck with, uh, with all of your endeavors and completely, um, yeah, just don't care about what other people think about you because you're the only one who has to be happy with how you look.